Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today in Google Forms to show you how to give students feedback to correct and incorrect quiz questions. So first of all, we have to make this a quiz. It already is one, but the way you do that is in settings. You just make sure you click uh, make this a quiz. I like to do immediately after each submission. If you have questions that are not multiple choice, then you may want to do a manual review. And with lock mode for Chromebooks, be very, very careful because once you do that, you yourself can't access the preview unless you are using a Chromebook. Let's go back to questions. Let's go to this question right here. And if I click on answer key, I get feedback for correct answers, feedback for incorrect answers, and for incorrect answers, there's actually a little video that students can watch, which is really, really nice and useful. To add this to a question, let's click on the question. What we have to do is we have to choose our correct answer. And so we'll choose the correct answer and then add answer feedback. It starts off with incorrect answers. I'm going to say that's not correct. Please watch this video and try again. Now, this video right here is one that I made years ago where it's me talking about Robespierre. And so I'll click share and I'll click copy. And then now you can link it to anything. If you have a Google slide deck, a Google doc, a website, you can link it to anything. But YouTube videos I really like because they'll play in the feedback the student sees. I'll show you that in a second. We'll hit select. Uh, then we have to go to the correct answer one. And what I like to do with the correct answer one, and again, I'm going to copy paste this to save time. But if you have time, tell the student that it's correct and then just restate what the question was asking. Just a, just a little more text to just reinforce the concept with the student and click save. Now let's look at what this looks like on the student end. So on the student end, I've now completed this. I'll click view score, and it tells me that I received three out of four correct. Now, actually, I get all the first three right, and oh yeah, and look, I get that feedback. This is correct. The sans culottes wanted the revolution to be more radical. And then on the last one, oh no. Now I set it so that in the settings here, if we go to our settings, um, I am not going to show correct answers. I am going to show incorrect answers uh, and point values. And by the way, I'll make a default, make your default one right there. I should have done that earlier. Anyway, let's go back to what I see. And so I see that I got this wrong. And then it says, that is not correct. Please watch this video and try again. And so I have the video right here. It's a little cramped on this uh, screen, but I can always hit full screen. And the, what I would recommend for this, if you're doing the YouTube video, which I don't have to open a new tab, I love that, keep it to two minutes or less, maybe ideally one minute. I know most YouTube videos are longer, but you can always make it yourself with a screencasting tool or something like that, and then put it on YouTube and it embeds right there. How nice is that? If you have any questions about giving students feedback in Google Forms quizzes, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.